I'm Laura and I own and am the senior mortgage broker at LJ Finance Capital. Uh, so it's a mortgage broker? Yes. So is it for personal? Yep, so I can do finance whether you are looking for your first home loan or an investment property. I can also help if you're looking for a self-managed super fund property, looking to purchase a space for your business, whether it's retail um, or a warehouse, as well as doing asset finance and personal loans. Uh, there's one question, I mean, yeah. and I'm always curious, can you loan money to buy properties overseas to, you know, I, I don't, know. Oh, you don't yeah. know. Okay. Yeah. But you can loan money for buying properties locally in Australia? Correct, yep. So anywhere in Australia, I can help you get finance for a loan. Okay. Yeah, whether you're buying a property or an asset anywhere in Australia. So when you say asset, uh, does it mean? Yeah. So it could be like a car, a car, um, or if you're a farmer and you're needing some trucks and <laughs> some factory um, equipment, can help with that stuff as well. Yeah. So what what do they need to provide to you? Yep, so depending on the situation will depend what I need. Um, for me, I will need to look at um, bank statements, generally six months work. I will look out depending where your income's coming from. If you um, are on a salary, then I'll request your pay slips. If you're self-employed, um, I'll be requesting your financials, um, generally two years worth. And then the other things I'll be looking at and requesting, if, if you have any existing debt, then I'll need to see those statements as well and then looking at what your credit score is. Um, is there a guarantee that they will have some kind of a loan? It's not a guarantee because the bank, we need to look at what your income is versus what your debt is and if you can service that loan. So if you aren't able to service the loan, then you're not going to be able to get that loan. But what I can do is help set up a plan of what income you need to have in order to purchase what you're looking for. And then also, if you have existing debt, do we need to reduce some of that debt? So just say you've got credit cards or a personal loan or a car loan, what we need to do to reduce that debt in order then to help you get your property. So it sounds like if they go direct to a bank, they don't get that kind of service. No, so when you go direct to the bank, they have their shoe box and you need to fit inside that shoe box for them to give you that loan. When you go to a broker, what they do, they have about 30 lenders on their panel. So you're gonna have your majors, then you're gonna have your second tier and your third tier. So what that means is if you're not inside that box, we have other options that we can look at. Okay. Yeah. Um, with the interest rate being so high, uh, how is it affecting, you know, it, it does affect people's borrowing capacities and I think a lot of people don't realise when they're getting a loan, the interest rate might be 6% but the banks aren't assessing you on that 6%. They have a buffer so it could be say maybe 9 or 10% because they want to make sure that if we have another interest rate rise that you can service that loan. So they do have that a little bit more on there which then again if interest rates are already high then they're putting it at a higher rate it's going to make it that bit harder but then what again what i'll do i'll help look at it for you to say okay yes it's hard for you to buy now we can reassess in six months if interest rates come down or otherwise this is what the goal is for you to then see if you can earn a little bit more say i've had clients where they're only working four days they've then gone to five days so that they can have that bit more income so they know that they can service their loan comfortably and uh, the loan um, criteria would be different from property It does slightly, but we'll be requesting the same documents because at the same time, whether it's a property or a car, you need to make sure you've got enough income and enough of an extra money. So if you're, all your money that you're earning is already going to all your bills that you have and you don't have a gap, then you're not going to have any money there to be able to pay that loan down. So then you're not going to be able to service. Yeah. Um, they can contact me through social media um, on Instagram, Facebook or LinkedIn. Otherwise, they can also email me or give me a call. Yeah. Yep, so my number is 04336 57572 and the email address is laura, L-A-U-R-A, at ljfinancecapital.com.au. <laughs> Thanks.